Hey guys, in this video I'm going to compare some 12 gauge Sabo slug penetration on some stacks of printer paper. And for this test we're going to be using the Hornady SST Sabo slug, the Winchester 3 inch XP3 Sabo slug, and then the 3 inch Federal Trophy Copper Sabo slug. And here's the three slugs side by side, the Hornady, the Winchester, and the Federal. And if there's still enough room on our paper to squeeze one more slug in, I'm going to try a Federal Trophy Copper that I reloaded into a three and a half inch shell on 62 grains of long shot. So the reloaded Trophy Copper slug should be coming in quite a bit faster than the other one. So what do you guys think? Which one of these slugs is going to penetrate through the most printer paper? I feel like it's either going to be the Hornady SST or my reloaded three and a half inch Trophy Copper. Well, let's find out. We're going to start out with the Hornady SST slug. Next, we're going to try the Winchester XP3. And now the Federal Trophy Copper. I'll have to admit, that XP3 slug felt like it had a bit more recoil than the SST. Now we're going to try my three and a half inch trophy copper. <laughs> wow. I definitely felt that one a lot more. Right here in front of the paper is that XP3 Sabo. And our federal trophy copper Sabo is just sitting right there. That's kind of weird. And here's the back piece for the federal trophy. But here's our entries. Our SST, our Federal Trophy Copper, our XP3, and then my 3.5 inch Trophy Copper. I aimed about the same as I did with the other ones, but it hit a lot higher. I should have known because it most likely was moving a lot faster. It should have hit around here had it been the normal one. But with 62 grains of long shot, it hit way up here. And this looks like the Federal Trophy Copper Sabo wad impacted right here and I'm guessing that's from my three and a half inch shell and it looks like a gas seal also hit down here most likely from my 3.5 inch as well and you can see around the XP3 we also have the Sabo impact yeah so my 3.5 inch Trophy Copper put a huge Sabo impact same with the XP3 and all of them went straight through our first stack of 500 sheets and it looks like the SST and my 3.5 inch shell have the biggest exits. And of course they all went straight into the second stack. And wow, look at the entry from my 3.5 inch shell. That's the regular factory trophy copper. And that's my 3.5 inch reload. That's a tremendous difference in entry hole on that second stack of paper. And besides my 3.5 inch shell, the SST has the second biggest entrance. And it looks like there's a chunk of lead stuck right here on the very front of our second stack. And it looks like only both trophy coppers went through. And here's the XP3 stuck on the back of our second stack of paper. It actually had some pretty nice expansion for paper. That's pretty cool. And it looks like there's another slug right up in here which must be my 3.5 inch reload. Actually, no, that's the XP3, so I was wrong. That first slug we were looking at was my three and a half inch reload, and then deep in here, probably about halfway through, I found this, which is definitely the XP3 slug. So we had four pedals expand, but one of them actually pushed itself back. That's kind of strange. Definitely pretty cool looking still. So it looks like the only one that actually went through stack two was the Federal Trophy Copper factory loaded version. That's kind of strange. Maybe the 3.5 inch version just hit with so much more force, it expanded and slowed down faster. It definitely has a way bigger exit hole, look at that. It looks like right here's our XP3 hole, and right here's the 3.5, and here's the standard factory Trophy Copper. And here's stack number three. And we have a big mark, which I believe is from my 3.5 inch version of the Trophy Copper. And there's our Trophy Copper factory version slug stuck right there. 
So just about a quarter of the way through stack three, there's the factory trophy copper. And oh yeah, I was definitely right about that expansion. Look, the factory version has pretty much no expansion. Just some paper stuck in the hole where the plastic tip was. And it's a little bent, but that's about it. And this was the 3.5 inch reload of the trophy copper. Definitely a big difference. I'm sure this one was moving quite a bit faster. That's why it actually stopped sooner. It just did way more damage but didn't penetrate as much because of that expansion. And this is the mark on stack 3 from the 3.5 inch shell and the regular factory trophy copper shell. Oh wow, that's still tremendous damage from the 3.5 inch version. Even though it stopped in stack 2, still doing tremendous damage to stack 3. Yeah, and the 3.5 inch is almost done making a split now, and the factory version is still going. Yep, no more 3.5, but we still got a hole from the factory shell. And it looks like it's about to stop too. Yep, right here it's done. There's still a little bit of a dent, but there's no split or hole anymore. So the factory loaded trophy copper made it about two thirds of the way through stack number three. So it definitely had the most penetration, but we already see why, which is because it had absolutely no expansion. Let's find our SST slug though. Okay, so we're back at stack two now. And as we already saw, there's a chunk of lead stuck on the surface of its stack from the SST slug. Wow, look at the hole from my 3.5 inch shell though. That's just amazing. So there's a small lead chunk from the SST slug plus a piece of the plastic tip. There's the rest of the plastic tip from the SST. And it looks like there's the rest of the SST slug. Wow. Broken into a bunch of pieces at that. Oh look, and there's the XP3 tip, and I can see another chunk right there. The tip from the XP3 slug. So yeah, there's just little chunks of lead and copper jacket all throughout the SST slug hole. More chunks of lead right here. Crazy results. So here's what I found of that SST slug after digging through stack 2. And that's clearly why it had the least penetration. It kind of just exploded into pieces. You can tell that's the base of the copper jacket right there. And just chunks of lead. And there's even that little black thing that sits underneath the slug in the shell. Came through with it. Those slugs hit the stacks of paper so hard, even though they didn't penetrate into number four, the cover's ripped open and it's just bent around the board back here. There, there's absolutely no penetration into this stack of paper, but it's all ripped and bent. So to my surprise, the SST slug was the first to stop, and that one made it to page 867. And the second slug to stop was the Winchester XP3, and that one caused damage all the way to page 1022. And our third slug to stop was my 3.5 inch reloaded trophy copper. And that one damaged all the way to page 1,124. And the regular federal trophy copper Sabo slug had the most penetration and that one made it all the way to page 1,319. So that was an awesome test. We had way different results than I expected. I thought the SST would penetrate the most, but we never know what's gonna happen until we actually perform a test. Projectiles perform differently in different mediums or targets. But anyways, that's all for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. Also, make sure to check out my Facebook page. I post short little shooting clips on my Facebook that you guys might enjoy so make sure to check that out if you can 
And if there's any other kind of test you guys want to see, make sure to let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.